Hey guys, Kyle Kelly from Kelly Sport taking you through brand new built, uh, excuse me, brand new brokerage. 1997 C Ray 330 Sundancer. Um, this particular boat, guys, is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's got quite a few things on it that make it very unique, and this particular boat is what they call a limited edition. I have a special name for it myself, however, I'll wait till I get in the inside and walk you through. But uh, first and foremost, spotlight, anchor windless on the front of this puppy. Uh, 330, it's going to be a little bit longer, this boat. Pretty well fills up a 46 foot slip. So, I mean, it's that old school way of calling stuff. If it's a 330, it's longer than that. It's speaking of longer, extended swim platform in the back of the boat back here, swim ladder, designated stowage for some ropes, bumpers, a little transom grab handle in the back there as well. Um, big cockpit, uh, big U shaped seating in the back back here. Nice big seat, seat here that pulls out. If you want an additional step. Speaking of some cool stuff, we've got the automatic shore re power reels. You did not see this hardly at all. This is both the in and the out. Pretty cool. Upgraded Sony subwoofer there, cockpit table. Uh, this boat features 7.4 MPI stern drives. Uh, cool thing about this, guys, this boat is a heck of a performer. Uh, a lot of boats in this size and this price of the V drives, which drive like poop, is old technology. Uh, this is much more efficient, uh, much quicker, much nimbler, uh, much more nimble, excuse me, and uh, just drives a lot, a lot, a lot better. Um, not anywhere near as loud. Forward facing arch, and we've got the uh, top up and top here as well. Passenger seat in a nice big, you can call this a dual wide. It's actually probably a triple wide uh, seat. Um, up in the front, up here, power seat, forward and aft. Speaking of cool stuff aboard the boat, this boat has where the heck are my starters at? Darn it, must be downstairs. Hold on, here we go. I don't have the switches on downstairs. Boat has switchable through-hole exhaust, um, or actually, excuse me, I don't know if it's switchable or not, I know it does have through-hole exhaust, uh, hard as they were coming in, it's real, real, real slick, I must have the switch, the switch is not on downstairs, but for both this size, I mean, that's real, real, real unique, pretty cool stuff, uh, this is the limited edition, which means it has some cool stuff, so you'll see this handle here is pretty unique, as well, as you come inside here, boom! It's got 24 karat gold plated sink. I like to call this personally the Tony Montana edition. Um, I mean, kidding aside, guys, the boat, for its day and its age, I mean, was, it was pretty cool. So uh, we've got a convertible bed over here with push of a button. Oops. Slides up, as you can see, to make convertible, which is pretty cool. Push it to go back. Um, Looks like we've got either a little fridge or an ice box. Whoa, nice. Two fridges. One puppy here. Another bigger guy here. Microwave. That sink is just cool. <laughs> I, I just think that's badass. Excuse my language. Excuse me. Flat screen TV. Nice big bed up in the front. Fixed berth. Stove. Coffee maker. Um, vacuum flush head. Pretty nice. Again, those sinks. And then a nice big area in the back back here for a convertible. So, um, for the price point, guys, the owner's got it priced very aggressively. Just brought another, just bought another boat. So basically, blown it out the door. Uh, brand new carpet inside here. The vinyl was in very good condition. Um, critical stuff. Uh, they've got new carpet, but it is some of the carpet that doesn't have a rubber backing behind it, so eventually that will give wear. You can usually get a good two years, maybe three years out of them, um, but again, looks nice now. Um, and the other stuff was just some fiberglass stuff and some buff and wax. So the, again, all the vinyl is very, very, very nice. The interior looks, it looks it, it look, it's, it's original, I'm assuming, but it looks like it's pretty well brand new. So very nice there. Uh, canvas looks to be in good condition too. Um, little nick in the fiberglass here. Uh, overall, the boat does need some bottom paint and probably a buff and wax wider out. So rub rail is kind of worn down a little bit there. And there's some fiberglass on the back platform there. And then there's just a kind of little puppies all over the place. 
little guy there. Do do do. Couple little guys right there and there. Uh, uh, Ford X sun pad and all that, that looks all to be in good condition as well. And we're going to run over to the starboard side to see what we can see. A little catch there. There. And keeping in mind, guys, this is probably being hypersensitive. This is some dial crash. Honestly, I did that when catching it. When getting in here, there's a bunch of wind pushing me over. So that was me. My bad. Uh, but that'll come off with just some adhesive remover. Little puppy there. And keep in mind, guys, the 1997. The insurer's clean and we can repair fiberglass. That's about it. So, just a couple little fiberglass marks. All in all, guys, the big thing is going to be that's cost wise is some of that fiberglass repair if you choose to do it. Um, but bottom paint and then buff and wax. So, uh, we recommend full annual maintenance on all of our boats, but call and chat with us as well and discuss more information. So, Kyle Kelly, Kelly's Port. 573-348-4700. You can catch us here online if you're not already. www.kellysport.com. That's K-E-L-L-Y-S-P-O-R-T.com. Thanks for your time. Happy shopping.